Hey everyone, Bad Lighting here. It's time to kick off a new playthrough. Listen, the PlayStation 5 and Demon's Souls Remastered is nine days away here in Europe, if I can get my hands on one. And I thought, what better game to play to kick off the newest Souls game, which is technically not the newest, than to play one of the oldest Souls games. If you didn't know, before Dark Souls, before Armored Core, there was Kingsfield. Kingsfield was the first major series put out by From Software. I'm going to check out Kingsfield 2 today on the PS1. I'm not checking out Kingsfield 1 because it was a Japanese only release, extremely obscure. So yeah, Kingsfield 2, classic RPG. Let's see what happens. I haven't played one of these types of games. I haven't played like an old school game in absolute ages. So yeah. Let's kick it off. From software, here we go. For the fourth time. Listen, we're gonna watch the intro cutscene and I'm gonna have some shit to explain here because this is not my first time recording this, believe me. And again, once we go through the most 90s cutscene, probably in the world, I'm going to lay down the basics of what's been happening. It's quite the gargoyle, isn't it? And quite a battle cry as well. So I didn't really pay attention to this. Um, I'm gonna try to do so now, so I have no idea what's actually going on. But I think we're going to find out as we go along. This is just the flavor of the game, you know. When have we ever had a first-person cutscene in a FromSoft game? Actually, probably Bloodborne, right? The intro to Bloodborne, technically, yeah. Just feels... The very methodical steps he's taking. Just going closer, bobbing forward and backward. That's what I hate the most. You know those games where, you know, your character moves and he's like... It's like if he was doing like... like you know, who the fuck walks like that? Horror games do that, especially. Fucking like this. Again, this is not the first time I'm seeing this. I have no idea how the gargoyles relate to any of this. This dude is straight up fucking has a force field around him. So, what's going on? I swear this playthrough is cursed. Uh, seriously. First time the recording fucked up. I think I still might have a clip of that, I, which I can play. Second time I didn't turn on my recording. Third time, I accidentally left the voice recording on for my capture card software, so I had double audio. And now we're on attempt number four. If this doesn't work, I'm cancelling this playthrough. I'm saying this right now, that's my promise. So you might not even see this. This guy's speaking very fast. This is how fast he's speaking. He's a rap god. Must not have been paid hourly. You just like get in there, get this shit done, and get out of here, go get a beer. Oh, I just put it together. It's not the king that's turned evil, but the oh, okay. And this is what's dope about this game. That's the Moonlight Sword. The OG Moonlight Sword. The OG est Moonlight Sword. It's always four, isn't it? He 
he blew his load. His will was concentrated, you know, his will. I think that's us, by the way. We are Lyle. Not often you get to play a video game where you're called Lyle. Bruh, your mixing is a little bit off. He's speaking a little bit like this. Dope. For ten years, Lyle carried the burden of being prince to a damn kingdom. Now old enough to understand the message etched in his mind forever, it's time he faced Jesus. his destiny. Don't have to shout at me, bro. Damn. Getting screamed at by a video game. That's my dog. As, al as always. Yeah, check that memory card. This is where we have to read on our own now. Listen, I'm gonna be quick with the dialogue because it's not my first time, it's not my first rodeo, but you you got the flavor of this, you know what's up. Destiny, darkness, evil, triumph, take the sword, go out and fulfill your destiny. You know the deal, this isn't, this isn't Game of Thrones, you know. But the sword is called X Selector, which is a little bit strange of a name. But it's it's what we got. This is what we got. It looks like the crystal sword. Yeah, we're actually playing this. A proper FromSoft game from the 90s. It sure looks like it. So, forward backward, sword swing. Look up and down, by the way, damn right I'm playing this with the analog, I mean the d-pad, it's the only way to play it. So yeah, R1 and L1 do this dash, while R2 and L2 look up and down, so the controls are interesting to say the least, but you won't notice here because obviously after four attempts I am expert level at this. Um, judging by the fact that I know that there is a quote-unquote secret passage here which the boy is going into so listen to this combat don't listen to it but watch this combat you have the enemy you hit it you back out you hit it you back out and they all drop cash too and by the way I'm gonna take this playthrough like my Maluk Racer playthrough which as I said it's how I'm gonna do my videos where considering that this game also has large big kind of absent spaces where you're just going around killing monsters I am going to strategically edit these videos so that you do not get bored as I take this plant and steal it oh yeah I forgot you can sprint too but sprinting has gotten me killed not once so you really gotta be careful because it drains your stamina for a long time, but we got a secret passage with an empty barrel and our first treasure chest containing this is some healing item, but I was dying and I panicked. I used it and it didn't do jack shit. What the hell is that? Hold on, I've I've never noticed that. Is that like a lantern or something? Strange. Yeah, that's a fucking like lamp. Why is it up there? Oh, by the way, the sword swinging animation is just absolutely wonderful in this game. So I think this is where you're meant to go, well not think, this is where you're meant to go. Statement. There is no doubt in my mind, 
and we have quite a combat section here. But as you can see, I am an expert level Kingsfield 2 player. I think I'm getting flanked. Just reached level 2. Yeah, this is a classic, classic RPG. So there's no stat fiddling here. No souls to speak of. Look at this. Like, I'm way too good now. Like, AGDQ. Here I come, bitch, with Kingsfield. I'll have the world record. Ouch. So this is what happens when you get hit. You get like flung across half the screen. It's kind of interesting. And you take a lot of damage. I just noticed. This is absolutely fascinating combat, isn't it? I know you are hooked. You can also vault. Oh, is that a... You can learn something new every playthrough. I never noticed that that was there. Anyways, this fucking mushroom... Th this mushroom is my nemesis. He has gotten me so many times. I gotta heal. Yeah, we're using the Resident Evil style. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna use the antidote. My one and only antidote. I gotta use another heal. That was awful. Took way more damage than I should have. As an obvious world record holding speedrunner, I should be better than this. The reason I came here is this. We have our leather helmet. A truly classic RPG item. Okay, so I'm just following the path, getting into town. This right here is the inn. Oh yeah, people are hiding their fucking weed everywhere. Man. What kind of a city is this? It's a bit too close. Please don't leave so soon. I haven't had a guest here for months and I love to hear how you've been. Only try. No, not now. Nah. What, you don't have guests? Is there a global pandemic going on there as well? Your hotel, your Airbnb struggling. Might be a joke made in bad taste, but hey, if you can't joke about it, what can you do? This is why you gotta be careful with sprinting, because you saw that I was out of stamina there. You're fucked if that happens. I couldn't figure out what this was the first time around. I thought this was a pair of binoculars, but no. This is your leather gloves. We're almost fully gimped out now, which is... Leather armor is the best part of any RPG. Jack Leininger. Oh shit, I didn't know you can check the nameplates. Again, you know, lifelong learning. So our father is not really our father, right? Because he's like evil and shit. I don't know. Turning radius is absolutely wonderful. Turning time, I should say. And finally, let's visit the inn. This is not the inn, this is the shop. My bad. Hmm. 
She she says if you see something you like, take it. But then she ends up charging me, which is a little bit feeling like I'm being ripped off. I'll buy a couple of more. And I should buy an antidote as well. The hallmark of any RPG is to have antidotes with you. Expensive as fuck too. Alright, peace out. As I slowly turn around. I'm going to show you a couple more sites around this town. First of all, we have the statue. Statue of the hero. It's quite a sight. And we also have a locked treasure chest. And we also have, down in this little tiny canyon, we have a safe spot. You can see my, my data. Oh shit. Okay, format that shit. Unbelievable. Cannot believe this is my third time through here. Fourth time? What am I talking about? Hopefully I won't have to cancel this playthrough before it even gets off the ground. That would be a little... It's a tiny bit infuriating. Oh, thanks for the herb. Okay, so technically I was grinding there because I was killing enemies. This is, I think this is not where we have to go. So let me get back to where I think we need to go. Hitting them levels, boys. What am I? Level 4. Excellent. So I came back here. This is the original kind of first little secret area but I've been through the motions in the previous three attempts in the other areas and I don't see any other way forward so I think this is it of course oh shit blocked by the tree fuck this to the ass tree got in the way of my no damage run. Yeah, there is a chest here and if I'm not mistaken this one is going to be locked. It's going to be. I said that weirdly. Oh come on, I can hit him. Hell yeah. Because he drops this which is that is Silviera's key. This key is for the pedestal built upon the defense walls in order to prevent the invasion of the evil creatures. I think we're gonna let in the evil creatures. Yeah, this is locked. Because if there is a wall, I'm going through it. Yeah, this has to be the way forward. I actually never noticed that there's a chest on the other side, so let's. Um. Are you kidding me? This, this, this tree is blocking my path. Fuck you, tree. If this was Minecraft, I would have cut you down already. We have my nemesis, the mushrooms. It's absolutely wonderful to deal with this enemy. Especially two of them. But this is, this is souls. So we ain't fucking around. Ah, shit. It always blows its load like... It's poison load. How am I gonna do this? If I get blasted, I'm gonna definitely die. But I also don't want to use my one antidote. Maybe I'll just check out how long poison lasts. I'm assuming it goes away after a while. 
Please tell me it goes away after a while. Oh shit. I have no idea what this is. This is further than I've ever been. Dragon Crystal. Recovery related special item. Oh yeah, we also have magic apparently. Which, as far as I can tell, doesn't do jack shit. Okay, so I think what I can do... Oh shit, come on. Run up the hill. Be careful. I'm out of stamina. It's so weird like that it drains your stamina that long. Okay. So poison does... You fucking kidding me? I hate this enemy. No! Bruh. I died. Hold on a second. Wait, wait a minute. Where the hell am I? This is why I've died before. Oh shit. Wait, this is not where we respawned previously. That's really strange. And we're still level f It must be the dragon crystal, right? This is truly... This is truly new. Because when I died before, it was back to the start, motherfucker. Huh. Well. This is good news. I think what we're gonna do is I will take my freebie. Alright, this mushroom is public enemy number one. Just need one more hit. No. Mm. Hate them. I gotta level up too. This better be an open chest. Um. Okay. I think those are leggings. I need to heal because I'm gonna die. Cool, dope. Iron boots, badass. Except we don't have a character model because we we can't check it out. Obviously, what do you think? This is some advanced game. Oh motherfucker! I hate being poisoned. There's so many places to go as well. Okay. Well, I think the treasure chest was my main goal. So I think. That for today, we have... I've pushed my luck enough because knowing how this game went so far, if I'm not careful, like my PC is going to explode in like 30 seconds and the recording is going to be lost. So yeah, strength up. Oh, do we go by the Final Fantasy 2 leveling method? Is this how it works? This is a dead end. There's a skelly here. And we got his gem. Perfect. I'm gonna stay in this corner. Alright. Back to post commentary Mr. Sketchhead, who does not yet know that he's gonna have to re record this video three times, four times. Such a naive man. Let's see what he's up to. And that wraps up. Episode 1 of Kingsfield 2. All I can say is I need to pull out the walkthrough for this one. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to, as always, like, comment and subscribe. But more importantly, hit the notification bell if you're enjoying this series and you want to stay up to date. There will be more Kingsfield to come. And who knows what else, who knows what else. Again, Demon Souls, hopefully, in 9 days. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, hit the bell to stay up to date. Streaming is gonna be continuing again soon with Bloodborne probably. And yeah, peace out, Kingsfield. Goodbye.